Coastal Louisiana provides residents and industry with natural storm protection and a crucial habitat for wildlife, but we're losing it fast. Much of our coast has been cut off from a steady supply of freshwater and sediment from the Mississippi River, the very materials that built coastal Louisiana to begin with. But in one spot on the east bank of the Mississippi, close to the river's mouth, land is building. Years ago, the river overtopped its levee in this spot and formed a small channel. The channel widened quickly, reconnecting the Mississippi River with its nearby wetlands. The new distributary is called Neptune Pass and began diverting freshwater and sediment from the river into nearby Quarantine Bay and Bay Denise. As river water flowed into the bays and slowed, sediment dropped out. Sandbars and mounds of land began to form. So right now we're standing on some of the newest land in Louisiana. These sandbars in Quarantine Bay were built by diverted sediment from the river um, and they're forming these teardrop shaped sandbars out in the middle of this open water. As it builds up, vegetation will start holding on and hopefully it'll start cre creating new marsh, new land out here. So the marsh that's building out here will be crucial habitat for everyone's favorite animals from game species like ducks and redfish to non-game species like ibises. Sadly, just across the river from Neptune Pass, on the Mississippi's west bank, land is disappearing rapidly. This side of the river is completely cut off from a consistent supply of sediment by the levee. Neptune Pass is a natural diversion and a prime example of why we need to harness the natural power of the river to build land in coastal Louisiana. Planned sediment diversion projects on both the east and west banks will use the power of the Mississippi River itself and the water and sediment it contains to replenish some of Louisiana's starving wetlands.